familia ya Jaramogi Oginga Odinga baba Laila Amor Odinga youth leader ndugu yangu Oburo Odinga mama Aida Odinga mama Margaret Kenyatta na watu wa Kisumu Nyaduru auntie Nyaduru umor Nimekuja hapa kusherekea hii sherehe ya miaka 30 for one of my elementers when I was a young man I remember as a student leader in the University of Nairobi I met Jaramogi Oginga Odinga and I remember we were accompanied to the Perekwa Kwa Jaramogi na chairman wetu wakati huo mwashimua TJ Kajoang who is here pia tulikuwa with our secretary general governor Uchiro Hayaku who is here today na wakati huo Moi alikuwa amekataa kurejesta chama chetu cha wanafunzi cha Sonu na Jaramogi tulipoenda kumuona akatusukuma mpaka hiyo chama yetu ikakuwa registered I remember one time TJ Kajwang and myself we went to see the then attorney general Amos Wako who was here today and Amos Wako told me, young man, I understand your position, but my hands are tied. And he could not do anything about it. So Amos Wako, I don't know whether he's still around. He was trying to convince us, just accept, accept to be expelled. Mukubali tu, mfukuzo katika university. Wakati tulifukuzo kutoka university, Jeramogi Ogiga Odinga, pika simu. Akatafuta mtu anaitwa Gerard Otieno Kajwang na akamwamulisha aende mpaka at 6 pm and that's how i managed to finish my university courtesy of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga kabisa kabisa Later, when Jaramogi died, I remember we went to Bondo. We went to Bondo to bury Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. And I remember James Olengo almost took over the funeral ceremony with his famous quote of Mark Anthony. One year later, during the first Teroburu, when he went to Kango Jaramogi, and Moi said that there is not going to be live music. Na kumbuka ilikuwa samoja jioni. DC wakati huo, alikuwa naitua kiritu wa Mai. Akatupa tia gazu ziku. Na kumbuka tukipitia pari kuna cactus, huko kakango kajaramogi. Tukiwa na oburu in a very small hole. So therefore, I come here today to celebrate a legend and to celebrate a part of Kenyan history that shall never be taken away. The challenge we have, as we honor Jaramogi today, is to be that generation that can make a difference. I believe, deep down my heart, that we can relieve and relaunch the nationalist credentials that Jaramogi and others lived.